Life is strange before the storm. Episode one, part two. Let's do it. Ah, it's having so much fun. All right. So this is literally. I just uploaded the video now. It should Shit. be done soon. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. <laughs> Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. <laughs> How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? That kind of looks like my phone. It sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Will you be joining us for supper? No thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? Chloe, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Who's Elliot? Spanish test sucked. Luckily, no, lucky if I passed. Aww, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. Q, what you up to? Not much, got shit to do later. Oh, okay. You finished the chem homework. Nope. Dude, that's the third time. I already know everything. Rank A. Alright, we won't read all these. Max. Let's read Max's. So sorry, I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Gosh, sorry again. I'm really busy. I, you'd love Seattle more than a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhacking in my near future. Hey, Happy. I'm sorry, maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries, I'll check my dance card. It's 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What's it in Seattle? What's it? 2019 in Seattle. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe this weekend? Sure, anytime. Let me know. You're queen of crickets. Aha, queen of crickets. What's the latest? Max? Max! Max! <laughs> oh, I love the menus in this game. They look so nice. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. By and by, I come. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. I was quoting Shakespeare, by the way. By saying by and by. We're doing Shakespeare at school. It's fun. I like Shakespeare. <laughs> ah, Mom! Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. <laughs> uh, gross. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be grade B? Oh. Fuck you, Arcadia Pawn. I didn't get. Sorry, sorry. I accidentally fl flipped the next thing. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, darling. I need to talk to you. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurry. All right. Go downstairs. Coming, Mom.
Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Mate, where's dining the purse? Table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. <laughs> when I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. <laughs> Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Pat Roast. David. School. Engagement. I don't think we'll talk about the ring. I don't feel comfortable bringing that up. I thought you hated Pat Roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Come on, Chloe. That's, oh, that's a low right. blow. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Can we... Mm. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Come on now. Oh, I don't want to bring up the engagement ring. I don't feel comfortable with it. Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Come on. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you going to eat? <laughs> that is pretty funny. I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Hmm. Hmm, it's a hard decision. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe David could help. I don't want to I don't want to drag David into this. I'd feel bad. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. Ah, 16. David thinks you need discipline. I'm 16 now. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Oh, come on, game. You're not giving me any any choices I'd feel comfortable bringing up. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad 
Your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. Come on now. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Be understanding, say what you feel. I'm gonna be understanding. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. <laughs> you're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Come on now. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Hmm. <laughs> ah, the snow doe. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Shake it. Shake it like your booty. Mm hmm. <laughs> Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> from when Max and I spilled mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or it's because we can't afford nice things. It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me. So nobody's fault, really. Family pick used to hang here. I, wow. I can't actually remember which one. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Yeah, I like these games. I hope there's a, I hope they make a, like they wanted to, a spin-off, like about completely different people. I hope they do end up getting more into this world, because I love it. Here they are. <laughs> Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. We better get going. Oh. From Steph. Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph. Green. Green. Gr Ginger. Hey. I have your DVD. Can you get it before school? Thanks. Who the hell is Steph? Steph, who are you? What a piece of crap. The car, too. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. <laughs> Chloe, 
Is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites. Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. I mean, the school is only like a what is this? hour walk, so. Quality sir. time. Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this up. Ah oh, shit! I cut out the dialogue. Sorry, sorry, my bad. I'm sorry. What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Does he think he's moving in or something? Do these have chapters on hot wiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. Uh oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Oh, that's the that's the big board. I like that board. Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Dad's old camera. <laughs> Do they even make film for these anymore? <laughs> Damn. The stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Okay, now I understand that anyone going through a situation, even remotely like this, can be hard. But you gotta remember that you're not the only one going through a situation like that. Whether it be your your mother or father or a sibling. You gotta remember that you're all going I'm through the same to get thing. David his stupid wrench. What the hell has happened to my life? So we, you just gotta, you just gotta remember that you're not the only one, and that you should keep everyone else's feelings in mind. Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. <laughs> Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Yeah. <laughs> So, you find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? Oh, come on now. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. <laughs> I actually like this guy. He's he comes off he comes off quite bad, but in the in the later episodes, See you know. See gunking up the works there. That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. I know what a spark plug does. It ignites fuel to move the engine when a piston moves down and hits it, combining it with both oxygen and petrol. And then the spark it creates an explosion. The spark plug basically it, it sparks. Uh all right. Fine. Whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> I feel like that's a dick joke. I appreciate a good dick joke. Now just cut to when I'm all rich and famous and someone edits Ready it out so it says I appreciate a good dick. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. <laughs> I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other. 
But you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. <sighs> we'll ignore and endure. Mm -hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use. It's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. At least he's trying, am I right? Country music? <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. When I need a home again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what this I is. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. I guess mom left her purse back here. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> if mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. This is nice. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. From memory, Chloe wasn't meant to be in the car. She was with Max because it was on that day they were hanging out that you go back in time for the first game. Hey. The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Why wouldn't you take a bag to school? I mean, I guess it's an American thing, but... Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Dude, I was being genuinely I thankful. Warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Drugs, they will mess up, mess you up. <laughs> Good luck, seniors. Place looks different. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. 
Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Maybe. I, I won't blow him off. Although that sounds awful, it might be funny. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. <laughs> yeah, right. Me too, I guess. Sorry to blow you off, man. Alright. See you in cam. Yeah, for sure. He seems like a nice guy. I'm, I, I maybe should have said maybe. I think I just heard him a little bit. Sorry, man. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mickey. Thanks, on my way. Who the hell is Mickey? The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Looks like we're vomiting razor blades. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. <laughs> but you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Uh... Wow. The Young Artist Award. Oh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like, a hundred people submitted work, and my photography won. Congrats, I guess. So, the Beacon's putting me up on the front page of the lifestyle section. Who cares? Yeah... Still seems like a bit of a bitch, but she looks different. She looks a little bit younger, so... I guess Chloe's a bit older than... Yeah, I, I think I remember Chloe being older than everyone. Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Um. <laughs> it was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, oh, hell no. Look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. And uh, we'll just walk away. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's I'll Chloe. have you know, Chloe is a damn cool chick. Um. Oh, I know I should really be hurrying, but I kind of want to look at everything. Everything's so cool and new. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Hmm. It's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. 
I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. You seem nice. Why weren't you in the other game? I feel like you and Max would have gotten along with each other. Oop, wrong button. Run, 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 run. Steph and Mikey. Oh, they play in D and D. Oh man. From Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Dude, we were just there. Oh, it's Evan. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Mm hmm. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Yeah, why not? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. <laughs> How seriously am I taking this right now? Smoke weed the beer, Evan and Ass Clown. Now nah, we'll we'll, we'll sign go. the name. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. <laughs> right. Let's go hang out with the D and D kids. I love D and D. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Yeah, <laughs> they keep bringing that up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just, like, a friend thing? Uh, we're not friends. I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, <laughs> you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Yeah, let's do it. What the hell? Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> um. Nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. 
Let's get started. You were both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land, now laid to waste by the blood. Haha, <laughs> guess what? We have to end it. Oh, sorry, I just checked the time. <laughs> Alright, um, we're gonna continue with their little game next episode. I'm going to start uploading this right away. I'm gonna start making the next episode, and yeah, let's do it. Okay, ready? Um...